Hi there, I'm Sean Corris, the Type 1 Padawan, and I got another book review for you today. The book is A Brief History in Time by Stephen Hawking. I read this a few weeks ago. It's only about 200 pages. It's a short read. Um, I got through it in about a week. The book is really good. It's been out for a long time. It was a bestseller for a long time, and a lot of the information is still relevant today. I mean, this is the book to talk about the Big Bang Theory, quantum physics, quantum theory, uh, the theory of general relativity, all this stuff, um, black holes. And Hawking does an amazing job at dumbing it down, I guess, and putting it into simple terms that an average person could understand. Um, I really enjoyed it. I don't know much about astronomy or anything like that. Um, this book really opens your thoughts and your ideas and just the, the whole big theory of, of what our universe has in store. Big things that I took out of this book were black holes, time travel, the Big Bang Theory, and the expansion of the universe, and what they are working on now. And a lot of this is, like I said, still relevant today. We still have huge scientific discoveries about not only Earth, but the world around us and the universe that we're, we live in. Um, like I said, this book is fairly easy and it's fairly short. Um, takes a little bit of knowing of, of math, some science, some physics. Um, I suggest it to like a col like a entry level college course reader or high uh, upper level high schooler, like 11th or 12th. But it just opens your mind to a whole bunch of different things for, from space and astronomy and stuff like that. Um, what I like is Hawking doesn't necessarily fight the whole battle of religion. He he's still puts in God as a reference as someone who the big what if. So it's nice that there's not this this heated battle versus like God and science and religion and science. But um, I really enjoyed it. Um, especially the be the best parts of the book were about his theories on black holes, his theories on time travel, and um, of course the expansion of the universe and where our universe is going. Um, overall, it's a quick read. I think it's it's a little over 200 pages, like I said. Um, you can read it within a couple days or a week. and um, Some of the stuff is hard to grasp, but Hawking does an amazing job at putting things in very common I don't even know, com just common sense things that an average person could know. So the book is A Brief History in Time by Stephen Hawking. I'll have more reviews coming up soon. Um, also Lego reviews, maybe some cosplay. I've been working on my Mando costume for a while. Um, so until next time, I will see you guys later.